And welcome back to the Hot Lap. We are talking Christian Horner ahead of Red Bull's, well, mind-blowing meeting tomorrow, which could change the face of Red Bull if Horner were to go. Once again, I must forcibly state these are just allegations, but we're going to be talking about everything we know in the next coming minutes. So, Christian Horner, could this be the end from Christian Horner? We're going to let you tell you everything we know. Jerry Halliwell reportedly, understandably, really, really upset in tears over these allegations. Could this be the end for Red Bull? Okay, maybe a bit extreme, but the end for Red Bull as we know it. And DC calls for calm regarding the whole situation, but let's get into it. pretty much everything we know so far. This is from The Guardian, and uh, it's basically saying Horner to be questioned over allegations as he fights to save career. Yes, what a headline. Barrister leading investigation will travel to the Red Bull factory, and Horner reportedly, well, no, he has, not reportedly, he has denied claims of this alleged controlling behaviour. So it says here, Horner will be questioned on Friday as part of this independent investigation. As we know, he's denied, he's denied the claims and he's going to meet up with this external barrister. This barrister has been tasked by the team's parent company, the Austrian side, it's believed, of the uh, of Red Bull. with lead, And they're leading the investigation that is apparently happening at the, that happened at the racing headquarters in Milton Keynes at the end of the week, according to this report. Now, no timescale nor timeline for the investigation has been revealed by any of these parties involved. However, it's understood that there is pressure on them to deal with it swiftly. Why? Because a week today is essentially Red Bull's F1 car launch. So, the 50-year-old is reportedly fighting to save his career following a complaint that's, uh, believed and once again this is believed because we don't know red bull have given us no indication on what this investigation is really about but it's believed to have been made by a female member of staff and taken up with the team's owners so you know the head of red bull a red bull hq not red bull racing red bull hq rather than the as i said the formula one team itself red bull in racing has a uh, still to make any formal comment and i doubt they will now, the team's owner confirmed on Monday that it launched an investigation, adding the company takes these matters extremely seriously and the investigation will be completed as soon as practical. Now, Hornor, who has been attending a meeting of the F1 Commission in London on Monday afternoon, is understood to have told fellow attendees that there was no truth to these allegations. He's made an emphatic rebuttal following the publication of these allegations, stating, as we said, I completely deny these claims. The team's parent company has been commenting further on, uh, has basically said, commenting further would not be appropriate. Understandably, yes, they would not. And Horner, who's going to remain in his post until this investigation is carried out, has been the team principal of Red Bull since he was bought by Jag bought out by Jag from Jaguar in 2004. Here's an article on Speed Cafe, slightly more clickbaity maybe when I read it, but it said Horner will meet independent lawyers, as we know, after being made aware of the investigations. As we know, Red Bull launched an investigation, and it says this process, which is already underway, is being carried out by this external barrister. Now you have to say it's got to be pretty serious allegations at least to be carried out by an external barrister so they're taking it extremely seriously as they said since then it's saying there's been a stone silence from all in all involved precisely what inappropriate behavior in this instance is uncertain now some claimed it relates to images sent by horner which i don't believe to a female member of staff and others to center on horner's strict regime and the conflict it raised with the employee which kind of makes more sense that's a lot more of the headlines is that what it is that's what we are seeing. The latter is supported by an unnamed source quoted by The Sun, which claimed Christian had concerns about her conduct and made it clear he was unhappy. She went on to complain about his controlling behaviour, which deter detonated this whole crisis for the team. In either case, inappropriate behaviour is governed under the UK's Equality Act, which covers all aspects from raised voices to discrimination, sexual harassment and more. Now, it's been reported the incident in question took place here... Not obviously at Red Bull's HQ, which the other story suggested, but at a skiing race last week, also attended by the likes of Zach Brown and Toto Wolf. Horner is a board member of several Red Bull-related businesses, including their advanced technologies, their powertrains, and obviously Red Bull Racing. And he's been a director of the latter since March 2007. And it says here, should the outcome of the investigation be such that Horner's position is untenable, a defined process must be followed. 
So that's going to be interesting. Now, the Articles of Association for Red Bull Racing, removal of a director position is via an ordinary resolution. It's been speculated that the current situation is evidence of power play within Red Bull. And the confirmation of the investigation, as we said, have come from Red Bull Austria, as opposed to its HR department. The F1 team owner, uh, the F1 team was the company's patriarch's passion pro uh, Sorry, passion project. That's Dietrich Messerschmitt, but obviously he passed away in 2022. But since his death, it's fallen to Oliver Minslaff, who is now the CEO. And while it's believed Minslaff is happy to allow the business to carry on in F1 unhindered, I mean they're doing an amazing job. Um, there've been reports of growing tensions between between Horner and Helmut Marco, but Helmut Marco has come out and vehemently denied any involvement, saying essentially it's one of the few times he's not commented on the situation but um, i mean you got to feel sorry obviously for his wife jay joey hallowell this is from metro.co.uk she's been left devastated by these allegations of inappropriate behavior facing her husband and rebel racing chief christian horner the 51 year old is understood to be standing by her man fair play to her but she has been rocked by these accusations made by another member of staff for the you know the red bull team and a source close to the uh, Ginger Spice Girl told The Sun, Jerry has been in floods of tears all weekends while looking after her kids. She is insisting Christian has done nothing wrong. Hall and meanwhile himself completely denies it. And um, obviously Red Bull making absolutely, saying absolutely nothing. And then there's just a lot of pictures. Um, Horner, as we know, he's been the team principal for the longest running team principal as well, hasn't he, in Formula One now? Um, so... I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? You would absolutely get she's standing she's standing by her man. But if, and I really hope it's not the case, but if Horner were to go, would it spend, would it mean the end of Red Bull? I don't think so. Would it mean the end of Red Bull as we know it? Very likely. And this is what Planet, an article on planetf1.com are suggesting. Would a Christian Horner departure spell the end of Red Bull's dominant empire? So earlier this week, as we know, the parent company confirmed under investigation um, and it goes on there. So what next for Christa, for Christian Horner and Red Bull? It says hard facts relating to whatever is going on with Horner and Red Bull are hard to come by. Absolutely, they are. Officially, neither Red Bull Racing nor GmbH will comment on the situation. There are plenty of rumours out there as to what may have occurred or what the investigation is centering on. Planet F1 understands it's related to Horner's management style and approach, which kind of goes again with that potential controlling behavior however we don't know for sure to that end as it says friday is going to be the big day that's uh, tomorrow at the time of recording now with red bull's team launch and its celebratory rb20 anniversary reveal coming up on the 15th of feb it's a huge bombshell to hit the team now rather than going into the new season very full of beans let's say and appearing as the dominant force they're having all these question marks over their team boss red bull um going into the launch sticking to the facts Horner has denied the allegations, the story says, of whatever he's been accused of, but the threat to his career and leadership is very, very much hangs in the balance. And the Red Bull are placed in an awkward position if Horner isn't exonerated, it says. And as we know, over the past 20 years, there's no doubting this incredible talent and the absolute dominance that Red Bull has had with Horner under Dietrich Mascherschmitz and obviously in the 22 and 23 season the molding took a while to get off the ground initially but thanks to david Coulthard, it was him that convinced horner to hire adrian newey and from there well they haven't really looked back other than that mercedes dominant era but red bull were always one of the you know a force to be reckoned with along with ferrari so it goes into it goes into the history there and uh, red bull probably made work what mclaren couldn't obviously with with adrian new but the good, good question is whether or not red bull is eager to do so so, with Horner merely an employee of Red Bull, rather than being a shareholder in the team he's created, it's quite easy for Red Bull to cut ties with him, should they see fit. But the big question is um, whether Red Bull will, would be eager to. Rumours have abounded in recent months about this internal power struggle within Red Bull. These rumours became particularly pronounced during the latter half of 2023. They're saying surface level tensions. We did a story on it as well, I think back in maybe October, with Horner and Marco hinting that there's tension um, behind the scenes and if Red Bull wants Horner out then this incident could spell the end of him if they want him out if it's a political move now while Horner tends to prove um, a divisive love him or hate him character due to his willingness to get down and dirty in the media particularly when it comes to 
poking at awkward situations with rival team bosses. His track record can't be argued with. Absolutely, you can't. I mean, I know it's, it's very much like Marmite on Drive to Survive, whether you love him or not. But you can't deny he's been really successful. With seven drivers' championships and six constru constructors' titles in less than 20 years. Now, on the performance side, Hawler's talents can't be disputed. But, it says here, if his behaviour is proven to be problematic at the point of making his position, where's that word again, untenable, what option do Red Bull have? Should Horner be ousted from his role, what does it mean for Red Bull in the long run? After all, it says, they're competitive. It's not exactly going to fall off a cliff. If you remember when Ross Braun, Rory Brown, Michael Schumacher left Ferrari, they still won a championship and were fairly competitive. Nearly won the, well, they won the 2007 championship and the nearly the 2008 championship. But Horner has proven an extremely canny at creating a stable working environment over the years. He said there's also rumours that Neary, um, a critical component, is Horner aligned. Perhaps unsurprisingly, he may go if Horner goes. However, there's been other stories suggesting that who, Horner, um, if Horner went, Neary's happy to stay. Who knows? These are all rumours and conjecture. Could it be that if Christian is removed, Adrian could up and leave? And if that does... That's good. That could spell disaster in the next few years for Red Bull. What does that mean for Max Verstappen? But some of the reports are saying that it's the Verstappen camp, along with Marco, that want Horner gone. Once again, who knows? These. This is absolutely. This is just. This is just rumours. But DC David Coulthard has uh, come out and basically intimated that this is all an overreaction and has called for calm. He believes that there's some overreaction over external observers regarding these allegations about Horner. Horner's found himself, as we know, at the heart of this media storm and he strongly denied these claims. Um, appearing together on their Formula for Success podcast, F1 driver David Coulthard and former team boss Eddie Jordan addressed this and understandably reluctant to discuss the situation in ways that could compromise their legal investigation. Coulthard stated the facts known about the situation, including reading out the statement issued by Red Bull confirming this investigation into Horner. He said, I think for now that's where we stand, Coulthard said after reading the statement aloud and clarifying that Horner is quoted by Dutch publication Del Telegraph as having denied all allegations. Coulthard, as we know, is a long-time Red Bull ambassador and he drove for Red Bull Racing under Horner between 05 and 2008. Now, to this day, Coulthard retains Red Bull links and takes part in marketing, marketing displays with the Red Bull team. He said, I've seen all sorts of overreaction on social media, you know, people calling for Christian to resign and for him to be suspended, all all of these sorts of things, he continued. But he said, bad as always, everybody deserves their moment to be able to explain their position. I believe that will be happening on Friday in Christian's case. I don't know about the other party involved, so maybe next week we'll have some clarity on that particular situation. We may not even get the news on Friday. I'd like to think if he's definitely going, we'll probably know by Friday. People, you know, quite often companies let people go on a Friday for the weekend. And maybe they want to just sort it out by Friday because Monday is launch week for the Red Bull team. They most certainly, I think, want it sorted by Thursday. Will it be? There's absolutely no guarantee. But if you made it to the end, like and subscribe. Um, fingers crossed for Formula One and tomorrow. And we will speak to you soon. Thank you very much.